My name is John Lowengard. I'm recording this because we may not live through the night. They're here, they're hostile, and powerful people don't want you to know. History as we know it is a lie. finding all the facts in the fatal shooting of President Kennedy. Meanwhile, the President's widow remains in seclusion in Massachusetts with her two children. Mrs. Kennedy steadfastly... That poor Jackie Kennedy. She's a strong person. Hmm. Well, guess if she can go on, so can the rest of us. The Warren Commission is in the process. We should hit the road. The farm's about a half hour from here. ...fateful November day in Dallas. Although it is not technically a court of law, the commission does have the power to subpoena witnesses and to put them under oath to testify truthfully on threat of perjury. You sure about this? Well, we can't keep moving without money, and right now we have about a dollar and a half to our name. You okay? Get there before it gets dark. It seemed the darkness was all around us. The Warren Commission investigation served as a chilling reminder of a president's death and the lengthening shadows of Majestic and the Hive, which followed us wherever we went. I told Kim I was going home to retrieve a couple of savings bonds my father gave me when I was ten. But I think she sensed it was more than that. I craved the comfort of my family and a little shelter from the gathering storm. Looks clear to me. Yeah, first glance, it always looks clear. I don't feel good about this. I will only stay till the banks reopen and we can get the bonds. What are we going to tell your parents? only what they need to know. ID, sir. Steele and recording of this majestic fingerprints were all over Dallas. Now, why wasn't I shown all this before? Alan. Don't hand me that crap, Frank. I'm on the Warren Commission. I did need to know. Steele was already implanted, obviously. We can't tell the commission that. It's your job to keep all this out of evidence. How? I don't run the hearings. That's Earl's job. Lee Harvey Oswald was a lone nut. He had a sick fantasy. He acted it out. It was a terrible tragedy. There are people asking questions, Frank. Jerry Ford's been pushing. And you are the lone voice of reason, Alan. You gotta keep all these guys on the right track until final conclusive proof of Oswald's guilt comes in, and it will. Fine. Where do we stand with our other Achilles heel? If Longard ever gets anyone to listen to it. That will never happen, Alan. Longard's in California, headed north. We're one step ahead of him. Oh, 
Here, honey, give me a coat. <laughs> Hi, Dad. Hello, son. How are you? Kimberly? Sweetheart, Mr. Lillian. Well, we sure didn't expect to see the two of you. Sorry we didn't call. It's just that... What? You think someone's listening in on the phone? What matters is you're here. So, uh, where, where's Ray? Right here. Hey, how you doing? Oh. <laughs> yeah. oh, you, you remember Kim. Oh, yeah, yeah, sure. Never forget a pretty face. Ray, why don't you go get the kids' bags out of the car, bring them on up to the house? Mom, that's that's okay. We traveled very light. Uh, l listen, I gotta... I, got uh, I, just, I just remembered something. just surprised to see you. We all are. Schneider, he's supposed to have recon for us. looking pretty dry. Yeah, well, beans are coming up short. So, how long are you kids staying? Uh, just for the weekend, Mom. Oh, now, I was hoping... Uh, we'd like to stay longer, but we have to be on our way. Dad, we're gonna need you to come down to the bank on Monday before we leave. Why's that? Well, those savings bonds that you put away for me, uh, they're still under your name. So you came back here for money? It's not like that, Ray. Look, I know this has been hard on you, worrying about us and not understanding what's happening, and I know that the government's probably called you and told you that Kim and I are dangerous or <laughs> crazy, but that's why we're here, to tell you that's not true. To let you know that we're okay. And no matter what anybody says about us, I'm still myself, and Kim and I are doing what we have to do. We believe you. We just want you to tell us what's going on, son. So we can help? I know. I, I love you for that. But you, you can't... All you can do is trust us. I know that we're doing what's best for everyone. You've never given us any, any reason to doubt you, son. So I guess we'll have to trust you. Oh, so that's it, huh? You're just gonna let him waltz in here and leave without telling his own family what's going on. Ray. It's always like this. He, he gets away with everything. Ray, that's enough of that. I got work to do. This Ray and John? You couldn't pull them apart back then. <laughs> what happened? I don't know. Lots of things. I guess it started when John saved Ray from drowning out at the river. I was only seven, but I remember. <sighs> Suddenly, John was the hero in everyone's eyes. Seems like that should have brought them closer together. Ray's the older brother. I guess he figures he's supposed to do the rescuing. Dad started treating John like the number one son. It's male stuff. I don't pretend to understand completely. But I do know that it tore Ray up inside. We found Schneider's body stuffed in the trunk of his car with a bullet to the forehead. Steal you Schneider's ID to get inside and then took out LeBeau before I walked in on him. 
This is what he was after. I need to know where he is right now. Last tracking has him headed towards Sea Center. He could have doubled back anywhere along the way. Well, get him. He's hemmed in and he's hurt. Probably doesn't feel a thing. All right, gentlemen. We're going to do a full sweep. Start at the lower levels. Come on up. We're in a lockdown, so let's go. This doesn't make any sense. Why would he risk coming here for the JFK files when nobody else even knows they exist? The Hive is as worried about what the Warren Commission knows as we are. It's time to reel Lone Guard in. Bags before you. Trunk was locked in a, in a glove box for a key. What the hell are you doing with a gun? It's none of your business. It is when you bring it here. Ray, look, you haven't lived here in seven years. This is my home too. Ray. Yeah. All you do is you call from some payphone oh, somewhere every now alone. and then. Mom and Dad are worried sick about you. They think you're running from the law. Oh, I wish that's all it was. On the ground, I'm sorry. Forget it. Ray, forget it. Saving bonds are about four years away from maturity, son. Are you sure you want to cash them in? As soon as the bank opens tomorrow. Then I suppose you'll be leaving. Listen, I've never asked you to tell me anything you didn't want to. I'm not going to start now. As long as you're staying under this roof, you're not going to carry that gun. Yes, sir. Got work to do. Go, 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 go! Let's move it! Jim, this is Frank Bach. Now, you know we've been conducting experiments. We can help you. But in order to do that, you have to come in. Now, we know you're in the complex somewhere, and you're hurt. So... Say, Jim, why don't you come in and let us help you? investigation into the assassination of President John F. Kennedy. Chief Justice Earl Warren, who heads the commission investigating events surrounding the assassination, has closed the hearings, saying there will be no statements issued until the commission concludes its hearing and issues a... John said you worked for Mrs. Kennedy at the White House. What was she like? Attorney General Robert F. She's a great lady, the strongest I've ever known. I feel so bad for her left with those two kids. There is nothing worse than a family being ripped apart. Hi. Hi, honey. Yeah, yeah, I remember that puzzle. I think there's a couple pieces missing. <laughs> hey, Ray. Yeah, I, I'm not sure if the Lockwoods uh, are still stuck in their pond, but I thought... Maybe we could go do some fishing or, I don't know, go down to high school, shoot some baskets. What do you think? 
Oh, I don't think so. John, I gotta go check the irrigation gates. That means he's going to sit by the river, John. You know what happened here was a long time ago. It's time we put it behind us, both of us. Hey, come on, what do you want from me? You name it, I'll do it. I mean, should I throw myself in there so you can pull me out? Would that make us even? Should I drown? What? I don't know. I don't know either, but I'm trying, damn it. And that's one of the reasons I'm here, Ray. We can't keep doing this to each other, okay? Not now. Ray, you see, we might never get a chance to do this again. And I want things to be the way they used to be. Brothers. Best friends. Why are you here, John? I just told you, Ray. No, in Fresno. Why are you back here now? Is that all you care about? You know, I remember a time when I used to be able to finish your sentences, huh? You remember that? It's like I don't even know you. And if this is how you want it, fine. Kim and I are leaving tomorrow. John, wait. Ray Longard doesn't want you to leave. I want you to stay, John. Sure, Ray. You know, I, uh, I hear the blue tractors are biting. Maybe we could catch a few. Yeah, we used to do that, didn't we? Only when the June bugs were getting drunk on sugar water. Yeah, I remember. When the night crawlers were attacking the goldfish. They did that, didn't they? That, that was fun. I'm, uh, I'm gonna head back up to the house, Ray. Yeah. I think maybe I should too. It's Cooper. I got a man down in C sector. He's still breathing. Steel's down here somewhere. Copy that. Sector men's job. I got a blood trail. A copy.
go. Luce, has uh, Ray been on any of his camping trips lately? Yeah, about three weeks ago. Came back a day late and Mom was kind of worried. Is there a problem? Can I talk to you for a sec? Just because he's late from a camping I trip... I gave doesn't... him an EBE profile. Well, answering a couple silly questions that he takes seriously isn't proof Kip, either. Kip, you weren't there. Then why, Ray? Because they're trying to get to me. Just like they used you. Okay, the milk is in the kitchen. Dad keeps the acetone in the garage. Mom's a diabetic. John, this could kill him. Look, if Ray is responding to the EBE then there is a still a chance that he is in the early stages and we can get this thing out. It's gonna work. It has to. Jim, it's Frank Bach. I know you're still in the building. I wanna help you, Jim, get out of this mess alive. But you have to help me. If you come in now, I guarantee you won't be hurt. Repeat again, I, 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 can't, I can't understand. Why hasn't Ray Longard done as he was asked? Ray Longard isn't ready. Then someone will come to assist. He's my brother. You must make sure John Longard does not leave. Class, he is all. Hey, John, Kim, who... What are you doing here? Who was on the radio, Ray? Just... Just a friend. What did he ask you to do? Nothing. What, what do you want? <laughs> We're here to help you, Ray. I don't need any help. Listen to me, Ray. There's something inside you. They put it in your head when you were out camping. No, this thing is gonna kill you. But we think we're in time to get it out. Have you touched the ball? The ball with the bright lights? Ray, as long as you haven't touched the lights, you can still feel and you can still think. It happened to me, Ray. You can trust us. I know what you're going through. No! No, no, I don't remember. They come to you at night. I remember a scratching sound. Tell me, Dad. He's got one of Mom's needles over there. I don't know what his problem is. Ray, you get back in the house.
You want to talk to me now? Talk to both of us, Mr. Lowengard. No, Kim. Dad and I need to talk about this alone. Just hear me out on this, Dad. Look, do you remember when they found cancer in that lady up the road, uh, Mrs. Riker? Yeah. And at first they thought it was just in her knee until they went in to fix it. And the deeper they dug, the more they found until they realized their whole body was riddled with it. But they never told her, Dad. They just sewed her up and they let it run its course. Yeah, well, she was too far gone. Yeah, but wasn't that for her to decide? You see, for the past couple of years, I've been like that surgeon, digging up cancer and then just covering it up. Free Congressman Pratt? No. For a top secret organization called Majestic 12. Is that the reason for the gun? I'm not proud of what I was doing for them. So you quit? Yeah, I quit. Because what they're covering up is far worse than any cancer. You remember when you used to take us camping? We'd look up at the stars and we used to wonder if we were alone in the universe. Yeah, I remember. But we're not. this information to the president. And I think that's why he was killed. And I know that's why Majestic's after me and Kim. We want to get this information out, and we're looking for something to prove it. To prove that there are these aliens? Right. Space, like your brother. Dad, Kim was implanted just like Ray. But we were able to get it out. Using his acetone and seltzer? Look, I know it sounds crazy. But Ray is at a stage where it will still work. It's not too late for him, Dad. Dad, you never doubted me before. No. I never did. I've always been proud of you, son. And I'll always love you. I can get you your money. I'll call Chet Aker, he'll open the bank for me. And then you and Kimberly are gonna have to leave. Dad, you are not hearing me. I gotta help Ray. We will. After we come back from the bank. Okay. Jet's owed me since I boarded his horse last year. Well, I can't tell you how much I appreciate this, Dad. Hey, Jet, good to see you. Sorry to have to do this, but we're taking him in for psychiatric evaluation. Psychiatric evaluation? I need to get you some help, son. Let him go. He hasn't done anything. He's telling you the truth. Miss, the way I hear it, you could be in a whole lot of trouble yourself. Put you on the outside. Just let it go. How can you do this to your own son? Kim, look at you. Please just come on home. We'll talk about it in the morning. No, just get me back to my car. Clear all the way to the top. He's out. Blanket all airports west of Vegas. Priority. Lone Guard's in custody. Uh, where? County Hospital in Fresno. We're on the way. So steel. All right, double up our team. Tell him to hold till we get there. What's he doing in the hospital? His family checked him into a psych ward. John, your parents tell me that you and your brother haven't gotten along for quite some time. Well, Ray and I have had our differences. Doesn't that happen between lots of brothers, Doctor? Well, I think 
that you've got a lot of anger directed towards your brother. And you have repressed this anger for so long that it just came out in the form of what happened last night. What do you think about that? What do you think about your brother? I love my brother. And I hope he still loves me. That he was checking the irrigation gates. I think what you did isn't fair. It wasn't fair or not, it had to be done. John never lied about anything before. Where are you going? To the hospital. I'm sorry, but the law is very clear on this, Miss Sayers. The only visitors he can have during the 72-hour observation period are immediate family. But they're the ones who put him in here in the first place. I mean, how much support from them do you think he's going to get? The family didn't take this action lightly. They had reason to believe that he was a danger to himself or to somebody else. They could have put him in jail, you know. Well, you're holding him against his will. I don't see the difference. His family are the ones who put him in here, and they are the only ones who can get him out. All right, exactly how many family members would it take? Either parent could sign the form. Thank you. Hospital, Fresno General. Ray Longard still isn't ready. We know that, Ray. That's why I'm here. And why you need to touch the sphere of light. Who are these people? Majestic. It's a long story, but I gotta get John out now. I want to help. You don't know what that means. Kim, he's my brother. I need to help. All right. You can start by letting me borrow your ID. door that unlocks from the outside only so when you're ready to leave your brother just bang on the door i'll come let you out thank you kim god am i glad to see you majestic's here are they in the building no there are two vehicles out front and a man on foot we're parked out back well that gives us a fighting chance stairway at the end of the hall leads out back that's the way they brought me in we gotta get you out of here first right they think I'm crazy, right? Well, let's give them crazy. Let her go! 
Let her go! Ma'am, come over here. Stand behind me. You, put your hands on the table right now. All right, all right, you. Get over there. Get over there! Come on. Kim, cover him. All right. Cooperate. No one's going to get hurt. Now go hand through the bed. Come on, let's go. Believe this. Come on, John, hurry. I am. There you go. Okay. You're both crazy. Yeah, that's what they tell me. Sorry. John, put the gun away. We believe you. John? Oh, where'd you get this? Out of a car parked in the driveway. Majestic. How many were there? One. A guy in a trench coat. He talked to your brother. They went down to the river. Now, what's going on here? There's no time to explain. I need the stuff I had last night. They asked I'll show him! Hurry! questions will be asked. Your resistance will be overcome. Ray, no! He's one of us now. Ray, don't listen to him. College boy. Ray Lowengard. Shoot him. Don't do this, Ray. Please, think about what you're doing. This is your destiny. You must be the one. That's our plan. Do it. Nothing's changed, Ray. We're still brothers. We love each other. It's so, so hard. Shoot him.
I'm here, Ray. And Dad is too. You saved me. You saved my life. Ray? Ray? Dad, I'm sorry. I should have believed you. This is all my fault. You did what you had to do, son. I just think gonna be here any minute. You get out of here. I'm not gonna lose two sons today. It had come full circle that day by the river. For one brief moment, I got my brother back. My big brother. The one I'll always remember. The brother who taught me that our greatest weapon in the war that lay ahead wasn't our intelligence or our strength, but our simple faith in humanity. I was just wondering if you uh, happen to see exactly where that man you shot went into the water. Hmm. I can say as I did. Well, we'll be leaving now. I just wanted to thank you for all your cooperation. Mr. Bach. You have children? Mr. Lowengard, Ms. Sayers, please don't be afraid. We're from the Justice Department. We're here to protect you. The Attorney General would like to see you.